my god. <laughs> oh man, all right. You guys wanted it, you guys asked for so long. I, we, I, I've gotten so many requests for this. I don't know if you guys want to just see me hurt myself. Uh, I was like, no, I don't really want to do it. But I finally got around to getting a pair of bowling shoes. And uh, here is the tons of basketball. I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. This is the Does It Basketball series and today we're doing bowling shoes. So I don't I don't know what this is. It says Strike Force on it and uh, I got it on eBay for like 30 bucks. So I was like, why not? Ah, uh, so yeah, if you guys uh, want to get this and uh, are genuinely curious on if this does basketball, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see why you would, but I, here's the video, right? So let's get start off with the traction, and the traction being the most important aspect of a basketball shoe, in my opinion, because if the traction sucks, how are you gonna play? You know, especially in today's fast-paced game, you know, if you're doing a step back and you have a little bit of slide, you don't step back as far, and you have a, uh, you know, a defender that's actually a good defender he's gonna block your shot, you know? So and if you're trying to do a cross or something, you know, or even just like a uh, pull-up jumper, you know, if, if you slide a little bit, it's gonna, you know, mess up your flow and stuff like that. So traction is very important to me personally. And uh, <laughs> bowling shoes, you have no traction, you know? Uh, the funny thing is the traction is really, really good in the heel. So if I stop <laughs> like kind of going like this in the heel, it was actually really good. But obviously in the forefoot, it, it, here, look at, it says flex slide technology, flex slide. And it's like this felt material. And obviously if you're bowling, you want it to slide and stuff. And that's what you do when you bowl. But in basketball, you want to not do that. You want to stick to the court. So um, yeah, if you guys, you, if you guys, you guys are seeing the freaking footage right now. I fell, when I was playing, I fell. I played a couple of games and I was like, nope, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to hurt myself. But yeah, so no, uh, traction sucks. And you guys already know because of that, this probably does not basketball, you know? Uh, but let's, let's move on to the cushion. The cushion is actually pretty nice. I'm not sure what type of uh, foam they're using. It looks like it's just like rubber or something, but it's actually a pretty soft type of foam. And there's a lot of compression here in the heel. So uh, I was actually pretty surprised. It's kind of comfortable and it does thin out a lot here in the forefoot. But um, cushion, I was pleasantly surprised that they actually did cushion a little bit better than most basketball shoes. You know, like for example, the Kyrie Flytrap, um, the you know Z uh, old school Zoom Live, I don't know, you know? <laughs> so uh, yeah, the cushion was pretty good. Impact protection, all that seemed good. The actual insole is actually pretty crappy. You know, it feels like like cardboard plastic or something. But the actual foam in the heel is not bad. All right, moving on to the materials, it's just it's really crappy synthetic leather. I would say it, it it doesn't feel great. You know, it doesn't conform to your foot very well. It's very stiff. You know, and you feel all of that. You know, when when this flexes, you feel all of that kind of like digging into your foot. So it's just not very comfortable. It's not very premium. It, it is a mesh tongue you know, or I guess the underlying materials mesh and then the material here on top of the tongue is this crappy synthetic leather material. So overall, the materials suck. <laughs> Moving on to the fit. Fit also isn't, wasn't very good. Um, it's pretty wide and roomy, but I guess you wouldn't really need a very tight fit for a bowling shoe. I guess uh, more of a relaxed, kind of comfortable fit would be a little bit better. But for basketball, personally for me, a tight fit is good because I don't want to be swimming around in the shoe, you know? makes the shoe feel a little bit less responsive than it should. As far as supporting lockdown goes, I don't know. I mean, it feels supportive, but you know, it just doesn't stop going this way. So I can't really gauge if the lateral containment was good. So I guess, I don't know. Moving on to the weight. I don't know, this shoe actually feels really, really light. So I, I think it's gonna be like eight, seven, eight ounces. 8.96 ounces, really light. Does it feel light? It feels very light, super minimal but you feel really slow and not responsive at all when you're playing in the shoe because of obviously the, the flex slide technology. So yeah, going over everything else, aesthetics, yeah, you get these are bangers, you guys already know. You guys probably like this shoe so much 
that you're looking for this right now i'm sorry it's sold out you guys can't get it on ebay i got the last pair so don't even try to get it guys but yeah i mean do i need to go over anything else not really uh <laughs> you guys just wanted to see me in pain and i did fall on my ass a little bit and i felt like kind of like on my hip and i kind of it kind of bruised guys it still kind of hurts and i fell on my elbow a little bit too um it's it not not just playing but when i was actually trying to film i fell and, and it hurt so but yeah just the obvious um no it does not basketball but hope you guys enjoyed the footage of me getting hurt but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one